Welcome, welcome to another episode of Glorious Life on Wheels. This is part two of an interview I did with a fascinating woman by the name of Lulu. If you haven't seen part one, go back and check it out. I think you will be so encouraged, especially if you want to make some changes to your life. At 55, Lulu took stock of her life and decided she didn't want to go into her 60s living the same way she was in her 50s. So she took some bold steps, courageous steps, and basically reinvented herself. In this video, we're going to do a tour of the minivan, actually the DIY minivan conversion that she travels the country in and enjoying every single minute. If you want to duplicate some of the things she did, one of the things I want to let you know, I don't think you need a powerful electric system to do her refrigeration system. In fact, I think you could do it with something as small as a 240 watt Jackery or some other power station. But anyhow, let's go jump right into the tour and let me know what you think afterwards in the comments. I'm seeing that you've got a beautiful setup in here from the bed to the cabinets, fan and power. So what's catching my attention right at first was the floor. So what is in the floor and what is under there? Okay, so this was, um, this is, had the, the um, stow and go seats. Okay. So there was a three seat bench in the back, mm -hmm. two seats up there. I got rid of them and a friend of mine helped me build this floor out. Okay. Made sure it was level. I wanted access panels to get into the, um, Okay, so, so this you can lift this up, and then you have storage underneath there. Yeah, I'll show you. Okay, this is this is my knee pads it saves my knees. Okay, so the only thing that I I need to move is the dishes. I need to move the dishes out of the way. Okay, to open this. See, you do have deep deep storage in here, and it goes all the way across to the other side of the van. Yes. Wow, it holds a lot of things. So now you have this storage, and then I'm looking up there. Is that also storage the same thing up there for each of the two seats? Yes, I can okay. show you. I can show you that. Okay, we'll go around and look at that. So you have a really, really unique way of keeping your food cold without having a big giant refrigerator. You want to demonstrate what you do? Sure. Okay. So I, I knew that the the um, twelve volt refrigerators, um, if I if they were going to hold the food that I need, mm -hmm. because as I said before, I don't, I don't. I cook all my own food and my food takes a lot of space. I, it would, there wouldn't be any room for me. Okay. <laughs> so I got the smallest fridge I could find and I decided I was going to make ice. And so I would always have ice available. So you have a refrigerator that works as a freezer and right. you have it always on freezer mode. I set it on four degrees and it's always icy cold and I just swap them out. I just and you swap what out? Let's see what oh, you're swapping oh. out. I can fit six. I can fit six of these these freezer freezer packs. See, oh, these are okay. Rock solid. So you keep those in the tiny little freezer. Once you have those frozen, you use those basically to keep a chest that you made cold. And I'm looking over here. Oh, I see. So you've got now. What is that? that is wrapped around. It's kind of, so this is where the seat was before. This is where the seat was, yep. And so I have, um, what I did was I made a box out of this foam uh -huh. that I also use for my knees, because okay. my knees kill me in here. Okay. Oh. And you use that behind, and what is that in front, Reflectix? Reflectix, yep. Okay. And then I just used the silver tape to tape it all down. And so I made it kind of insulated. And then, um, like these, these mm -hmm. are still a little chilly, but they're ready to be swapped out. And there's so you, six of them in here. So you keep six of those frozen at all times in there. Right. And then when they kind of start thawing out, you move them over and you get six more that are frozen. And you swap. That's ingenious. Yeah. So yeah. that doesn't need any electricity. None. Wow. So I'm just running the tiny fridge, but I am running it as a freezer. Mm -hmm. So it does take more energy. Better, but better now, how do, you, how do you power that? I have the Blue Eddy. Uh, 2000. Oh, that's a pretty powerful bank. It is a powerful one. So, and, yep, and I have um, two 200 watt solar panels. They're okay. Right behind it, standing up right behind okay. it. Okay. Uh, but they're, they're the portable ones, so I need to I need to pull over and 
charge up that way. Okay, now can you charge that freezer through your car? Yes. Okay. When I'm driving, I can plug it into the car. Okay, yeah. so you can do that and yep. okay. So that takes care of me when I'm traveling. But sitting is sitting here, I would need to make my own electricity. With my okay, control. that's that yeah. I, I've never seen that. You yes. have the insulated that's basically an insulated box with right. those freeze frozen cubes. So basically it's a way to use a cooler. So mm -hmm. I, I think of this as like a cooler, but it's also not taking any floor space in my car because it's, it's underneath the floor. It's a DIY cooler. <laughs> it is. It is. And you know, it, it allows me to have a ton of food because you know something, this goes this goes way like probably to here. Oh wow. Yep. And this under here. Okay. So it's it, it's very spacious. It holds a ton of stuff. And doesn't and then, take up, like you said, any extra space. Right. So we're looking at your water system. Do you actually have a sink in here? I don't have a sink, but I have running water. I have okay. Berkey. Okay. Well, <laughs> and show water me. runs. Okay. So I have a Berkey. I love a Berkey. I okay. use it whether I'm stationary or uh -huh. traveling. I okay. love my Berkey. So I just have it bungeed in. Mm -hmm. And what I have is I have three of these bags. Mm -hmm. And wherever I am, I can get water. Like where I am right now, there's a, there's a water spout down there. But I can right. go in any gas station into a restroom, fill them up with the sink. And then I just come in and pour them. So I have three. Now, what are those? So those, are... those are called platypus. Mm -hmm. And they're just two liter bags of water. Oh, okay. And, and they what's... have a, a top that I see the screw on top. Okay. Yeah. And you know what? what's great? When they're empty, I, they just fold up. I put oh, them in wow. my backpack. Mm -hmm. And then I go into the ladies' room, fill them up. And okay. then I come in here. And I always keep, I always try to keep the three. I have the three right here. Okay. So um, I just filled that up earlier. And, um, and then... This is my gray water tank. <laughs> That's your gray water tank? <laughs> it's my gray water tank. It's my little spittoon. And you know, I, everything I use is biodegradable and mm -hmm. all natural. So I just, when I brush my teeth, I spit in here. And when it starts to get full, I can just really dump it anywhere. Oh my goodness. You know? Okay. Yeah. So that's, this is my gray water. This is my fresh water, my gray water. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this is the size of gray water tank you, you need when you live in a little minivan. <laughs> now the question everyone will want to know is how do you use the bathroom in this, in this little minivan? Well, I can do that. Okay. So I have, um, this is my uh, liquid system. Okay. So I just have one. This is my jug. And then I have the um, the Shiwi. The oh, okay. Female okay. urinary device. Okay. It's it's magical. Okay. It's, and a, so it's a life changer. Okay. Yep. And that you just use that? I just then... use that. Yep. Now the directions say to practice in the shower. And I <laughs> thought, I don't need to practice. So I just used it and I just... It, it didn't end well. So I practice in the shower. If you practice in the shower and you get it and you never miss, it's like, okay. it's a gift. So anyone buying a Shiwi, practice in the shower, practice, practice in a in shower, the shower for... Take it from me. Okay. <laughs> now I'm looking at your ceiling. That is so Yeah. You know what cute. I did, Carol? I went to, I love thrift, thrifting, thrift mm -hmm. shopping. I went to a thrift shop and I, I saw this uh, lace panel, like a, a mm -hmm. curtain panel. It was like 50 cents. And I and, and it had these. I I took it home. I bought it fifty cents. I cut every bird out and I cut every flower out. Wow! And I just used that spray 3M, and I just put them all up on the ceiling. So creative. So it was it was decorative and it doesn't take any space. Right. Yeah, very important. You shared about the shiwi. So not to be indelicate, but what do you do for what you can't put in the shiwi? Yep. yep. Well, I I this is for an emergency only. Okay. I, typically don't use this but oh, okay. when I've needed to mm -hmm. it's I'm very grateful it's here so it's my I have to move a couple of things to get at it because it's kind of big but this is my bucket system oh okay okay so what I did was I got the the gamma lid so I have it all set up because if I'm using this it's an emergency right okay so I just have um, a bag now that's what size bucket I think it's two it's either two and a half or three gallons okay but you know I don't need I don't need a five gallon okay I don't need a five gallon. so you have that and then you've got yep. the gamma got lid the, yeah and I got the kitty litter it's okay. all ready to go I probably won't use this for a year but it's ready to go okay and then I, and then what I do is I made this because I was like I I bought this pipe insulation and I was trying to make a seat and I just, I couldn't do it, and I just made it out of cardboard. Okay, and that I, fits inside. I a car, it goes like this on the outside. Oh, on the outside, yeah. okay. And it just gives oh. me something soft. Okay. Yeah. 
right. And then, um, and then I just just throw it away. In, in two minutes, I throw it away. Okay. I am. All right. And um, and then I just get it ready for the next emergency if there happens to be one. And then okay. I just go like this, and then it just fits right up here. And I don't really need it to be very convenient because I almost never use it. So that is your cabinet, and it is. Basically, you have your toilet there, and then what's on the other side? So you this just is keep... just like all cleaning stuff, like rags, laundry detergent, um, bags, just all kinds of cleaning stuff. And this is my trash, and we left a little peek hole on the side here so you, I can access the trash from the front. Oh, okay, from the front. From yep. the front. Okay. And then I, I enjoy the using alcohol and water for okay. cleaning. So I have this full shelf, and it goes all the way back against the side of the door, which is fabulous. And then all down here. And then, um, and then over here, I fit a pressure cooker that okay. I love cooking in. And then this is all my oils and stuff. You really have a lot of storage for I such a small, a small vehicle. Yes. And is there anything that you think you're lacking in here? Nothing. Look at all this. I have all this too. All this. Um, Even under the bed. All this food storage. Wow. And then this is all my, oops, this is all my dishes. And I don't need any other dishes than that. I'm, I'm fine with that. And then this is all my groceries. We were talking about the bed and what's underneath it. Why don't we go around here and see how you do sleep? But before we do that, you were telling me you actually have a table built underneath your bed. Yeah. So the bed right here is built, if you look at the bed, mm -hmm. it's just two by fours. And okay. I just used a piece of lattice. Oh, okay. Um, That's just, like fence lattice. Yeah, it's, it's like, uh, it's vinyl. Okay. Vinyl lattice so my mattress could breathe. Okay. But then I added this this piece of wood here that I could pull out. I can pull it, well, it's as long as the bed. Okay. This is the best thing. Now, I have a... Um, a leg for it. Oh, okay. But so then you have a table so you can cook outside if you want. I yeah, I, and I have this big space, which is great. But this is also also serves as extending the bed, and I can show you that. Okay. Well, let's look at that. Basically, your bed turns into a table that pulls out, and then when you're not using the table, you pull the table out sideways, and you use these pillows that are on the side. Yep. Okay, as the extension on your bed. Yes. Oh, and wow. These are made with the same exact mattress. I just cut them all up with a knife. Okay. And then they go like this. Wow, this really is a comfortable looking bed. Yes. I'm pushing down on it and it's soft and it's, and you're saying you sleep 10 hours a night very comfortably in here. Oh, it's so cozy. Oh my goodness. So I know you're probably looking at this bed thinking, oh, when can I climb in it? But I'm looking at it thinking how you got all of this in a minivan. As I was coming around the other side of the bed, I saw that you have this ingenious little storage area here. It's just, what, some scrap pieces of wood? Scrap pieces of wood. I had these baskets and I just zip tied them. See the zip ties? Uh huh. I just put it right through the wicker and wow. zip tied them on. And this is where I keep my shoes. And this is where I keep my fire extinguisher and my um, some wipes. And this is, um, if I get my tea kettle out and mm -hmm. boil a pot of water and fill this up, this is a Yeti, a Yeti cooler thing, mm -hmm. uh, thermos. Uh, three days it's still, the first day it's so hot I can't touch it. The next day it's still warm. I can hot, no, it, it's it's hot, like, but I can touch it. The next day it's warm. The next, then the third day I'm boiling another pot. So <laughs> let me ask you this, Lulu, is there anything that you can think of that other than standing up that you need that's not in this van? No, and I, I, I'm really, I'm really considering how valuable that is to give up what I have in here. I really enjoy it, you know? To, you're, when you say give it up, give it up and get a, a yeah, bigger give van. Up something bigger. I love traveling in this. I love, um, and I, I can't, I can imagine doing it for the long term. So now, what would you say to someone who is bearing down on their 60s or even 70s and thinking, you know what, however and whatever state I'm in right now is what state I'm going to stay in. What would you say to them? Because you completely revolutionized your life going I into did. your 60s. I did. You know, I don't know if I was if I was still on the same path. I don't think that this would be comfortable for me. Mm -hmm. um, 
Um, and you might not even be doing it if you're on the I same path. I don't think path. I would be doing it. I, my, I, my priorities were just kind of out of whack. And mm -hmm. so they just feel, everything feels really clean and, and in line. And um, I just have a, a new appreciation. I love being in my 60s. I love a sense of adventure. And um, I'm just really enjoying myself. I'm enjoying myself. So it sounds like your 60s is really a decade that you found yourself or you found the you that you wanted to be yeah and it didn't involve i don't need a cocktail to do it <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much lulu and we will hopefully see you down the road at more events yes. and oh my goodness i what love an, being here i well, love being here i'm in heaven right now and i love interviewing you thank you so thank much you.